if I didn't tell you this is MacArthur Park, which is in Los Angeles in a country called America, you'd think I was filming conditions in a third world country. A country where communistic dictators and corruption have destroyed the economy and the lives of their citizens. A country like Cuba or Venezuela. Certainly not in America, but it is. I did an earlier video that showed similar conditions in Echo Park. A few people commented, this has got to be fake. Nothing that bad could exist in America. But it does, and it's very disturbing. It should also frighten the rest of the nation. Most of the trends that we see in the nation began in California, and unfortunately, these are not the good trends. The homeless population is actually increasing in other cities across the nation, too. California just shows you how bad it's going to get if we don't address the root causes of the problem. MacArthur Park has long had a reputation as an unsavory place. But due to the efforts of community groups in the Westlake neighborhood, not the government, the community, it was coming back. The gang problem had been almost eliminated, and by 2018, there were almost no homeless people living in the park. That came to an end in 2020. Not long after the lockdowns and mass unemployment began, MacArthur Park became a massive homeless encampment. Many of these were the newly homeless. Beside their tents were refrigerators, mattresses, sofas, and other furniture that they dragged from their apartments when they were evicted. It's a tragedy. The living conditions are unthinkable for both the homeless and for the people who are unfortunate enough to live in the neighborhood. It's also a testimony to how corrupt the government in California has become. Los Angeles approved $100 million of the taxpayers' money to provide housing for the homeless during the pandemic. It was called Project Room Key. The goal was to utilize hotel rooms that were sitting empty due to the quarantine to house the homeless. The money got spent, but the homeless didn't get housed. In November 2020, an additional $62 million was authorized. This time, old hotels were to be converted into permanent housing units for the homeless. Once again, the money's getting spent, but the homeless aren't getting housed. One of the ideas behind Project Room Key was to house the homeless so that there wouldn't be massive outbreaks of the virus among that population. The odd thing is, they didn't get housed, but there have been no outbreaks of the virus among the homeless encampments in Los Angeles. The long-term solution to homelessness isn't to build more housing on the taxpayer's dime or to create more welfare programs. You get what you reward. Politicians that buy votes by promising to give people free things contribute heavily to this problem. When people are rewarded for not working, they don't work. We saw this during the lockdowns. Many discovered they made more money through the government padded unemployment than by working. When their employers found ways to keep them working, many were unwilling to do so. The number of homeless is also in direct ratio to the amount of corruption between business and government. Yes, drug addiction and alcoholism put many on the streets. But we have to ask, why is the drug problem getting so much worse despite spending billions on a war of drugs for decades? Could it be that the people receiving the money didn't do their jobs? Did the money simply line the pockets of the politicians and their buddies the way it did with Project Room Key? 75% of the homeless in Los Angeles actually became homeless because they were priced out of their homes by skyrocketing rents and declining wages. And once again, we're looking at corruption. If politicians weren't making backroom deals to help themselves and their buddies at the expense of the people they're supposed to represent, we wouldn't see this giant spread between the cost of living and wages get wider each month. If the regulatory bodies that monitor the finances of the banking system the stock market, the housing market, and so on were doing their jobs instead of lining their pockets, we wouldn't see the economic conditions continually worsen. The conditions we see here in MacArthur Park and elsewhere around Los Angeles are a huge warning to the nation. If we as individuals don't take an active role in our communities, if we don't get involved and demand accountability and results from our elected officials, this will be the fate of the entire nation.